Hi, and welcome to another Average Joe Hockey Report. In this video, we're going to talk about Jeff Molson, Jeff Gorton, Chris Drury, and Marc Bergevin. Jeff Molson has finally done something that he should have done a long time ago, and that was fire Marc Bergevin. And I think that should have been done a long time ago. Because... I would, I would argue, because this obviously Montreal is a mess. They have, they they're currently really struggling in regards to scoring goals or even having offensive production from their defensemen and whatnot. Um, I'll I'll address what Mount Benjamin has fa failed to do um, uh, later on in the video. But it's about time that Molson, who the mess is on him for not firing Bergevin, as I've just stated. And at one point I was referring to Molson as a thumb twiddler. If you know what I mean, is you know, you're twiddling your thumb, you know, sorry. You're twiddling your thumbs like that, not really doing anything, you know. You know, like, you know that episode in uh, Simpsons where Homer, the Simpsons are on the top of the roof, and then Homer Simpson's like, "Well, we're gonna evacuate." While everyone just goes, doo, 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 doo. "That's Jeff." That was Jeff Molson until now. It was about time that Molson pulled the trigger, which is the bottom line. Now, what I what I was hoping that Molson would do, because I don't think he's very knowledgeable in regards to hockey, I was hoping that he would step down as the team president. And only become the owner. However, he did the next best thing. He put himself in a position where he is going to have less input on the team. And will distance himself from the everyday operations of the Canadians. He won't be entirely out of the picture. But he can concentrate on other things within his business. And let the hockey people deal with the hockey side. Who does he bring in? So then who does he bring in? Jeff Gordon. I've talked in the past how I've really liked how the New York Rangers, um, uh, <clears throat> how I've liked how the New York the direction the New York Rangers have been going in with their prospects pool and whatnot, and Jeff Gordon is the reason why. Gordon Gordon has even done a solid job as um, uh, the interim GM for the Boston Bruins. As he drafted Phil Kessel, Brad Marsha, and Milan Lucic, and traded Andrew Raycroft for Tuka Rask. He also signed Zdeno Chara and Mark Savard during his time as the interim GM. But for whatever reason, they decided to can him for Peter Shirelli. Hmm. I mean, after Shirelli won the cup in 2011, he kind of put the Bruins on the decline. Only to go on to put the Oilers on the decline, obviously. You know, and if you th if you talk about declining, once once Gorton was fired in favor of Chris Drury, haven't been a fan. I get it that they're angry about Tom Wilson ragdolling Artemi Panarin, but mm, haven't liked the moves they've made since. Like they brought in who Patrick Namath, Ryan Reeves. They traded Pavel Buchnevich away for, what was it, Sammy Blay, and I I can't remember. It all, all I know is that the Rangers took another loss there. And then now there's rumors that um, uh, Vitaly Kravtsov could get traded away, which the Montreal Canadiens were interested in. And uh, I'll admit this, I haven't done necessarily done my research, but um, uh, I kind of wonder... If, uh, oh yeah, he became the GM. No, he did, so he did draft Vitaly Kravtsov. So I wouldn't be surprised if now that he's going to be the acting GM. Hold on a second, where is, yes, yes, yes. Gordon's probably going to be the acting GM until they search for the new general manager, which I don't know when that search will be, but... But yeah, for now, Gorton will just be
Gorton will just be acting as the GM until they hire a bilingual general manager. But yes, he was the one that, that drafted Vitaly Kravtsov. So, I could most... But I could, so I could most certainly see, you know, um, Gorton making a trade for Kravtsov, the guy he drafted. So as for Bergevin, where Bergevin fails to, where Bergevin fails is where he's just, he's not a modern day guy. He's not a modern day general manager. Like a modern day general manager, what they need to do is they need to know the importance of a puck moving defenseman. Andre Markov has been gone from the team for a while now like it's been at least um what's it been at least what uh five years since he's been gone yeah his last season with the Montreal Canadiens was 2016-2017 he had 36 points in 62 games um he wanted a six million dollar contract for the next two years didn't get it at the time, I thought it was going to be a bit of an overpay. But then, when I saw that they gave Carl Alsner maybe like, what, originally $1 million less for a longer term, I was like, yeah, they were better off paying Markov the $6 million for two more years. They were better off. So ever since Markov left, the Canadians have not addressed a puck-moving left-handed defenseman. I mean, the... They could have had that in Mikhail Sergachev, but we all know what happened there. And then they were hoping that Victor Mete, who had more points than Sergachev in juniors, but Sergachev would do would be that guy. But the problem is Sergachev had more Sergachev had more potential than Mete. Mete was rushed in, poorly developed, and at one point was even sent to the AHL, was looking really good in the AHL and was brought back right back up in the NHL after he was going on a tear in the AHL way too soon. To add to it, to add to it, he was coached by Claude Julien who likes to go with his veterans. Doesn't necessarily like to go with, um, you know, like, does not really want to go with his, like, developing young players and whatnot. So Mete was just a failed experiment other players that have gone other players other left-handed defensemen that have gone on to be in and out of Montreal are Mike Riley who at one at one point was he when they traded when they traded him to the Senators he was actually looking pretty good and then or sorry they didn't no they let him go and then the Senators got him and then um uh, you know they traded him to the Bruins which he had a really good season with the Bruins there. Or like the Bruins and the Senators, should I say, and whatnot. So that's another defenseman that the Habs could have used or whatever. But the, the bottom line is, though, people were nicknaming Mount Benjamin as the bargain bin. It's like you don't, you don't replace Andre Markov with an offense with a defenseman who may have offensive upside but has been a third D pairing the, their entire career that's you're basically hoping you're basically hoping that a Chevy Cobalt turns into a Lamborghini when you do that that's not going to happen that's where Bergevin fails the most is addressing an offensive defenseman, a puck moving defenseman. Instead, he gets these stay at home defensemen like Ben Sherratt or Carl Alsner or Joel Edmondson or David Savard. It's just that's that's what's led Montreal to being in the mess, along with the fact that Molson took so long to finally pull the trigger. Anyhow, this video is. Mostly based on opinion and may not and may not be one that you are to agree with. 
and there might have been some points that I may have left out and whatnot. So remember, if I'm wrong, don't belittle me, educate me. Take care, everyone, and follow my Instagram account, uh, account Average Joe Hockey Report, and my YouTube channel, Marty Tommy, aka Average Joe Hockey Report, which is hockey opinion based on an average Joe.